Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Silver. Uh, this is our fourth episode today. Uh, right now we are in Sprout Tower. We're going to battle this trainer. So, Elder HM, Lights, Even, Pitch, Black, Darkness. Okay, so, our last episode we managed to get our Quill, uh, our, uh, what is it, uh, Cyndaquil to Quill Lava. So, I was quite happy about that. So, we're going to throw out Quill Lava. But, I, we were not able to catch our second Pokemon. Which, you know, I wanted the Zubat, but the Zubat didn't want to be catched. So, I, I wasn't too happy about that. But, hopefully we can get to the top of Sprout Tower today. And, maybe we can catch our first Pokemon. So we beat that elder. Let's see what this elder. Uh, so this elder had nothing to say except won the battle. Okay, so we're gonna battle this elder. Uh, it should be pretty easy to get to the top since uh, it looks like most of them have bell sprouts or grass types. And since cold lava is a fire type, it should be a pretty easy way up. So yeah. There we go, Ember. And yeah, we one shot it. Uh, will it be another browse, uh, browse bow? I, I I can't say it. Oh, it's a hoo, two, a hoo hoo. I I don't know how to say that, but it's the funniest bird Pokemon I've ever seen. Oh, a foresight. It's very annoying. Okay, and we should be able to take it out with the tackle. There we go. Ah. So, Cold Lava was not able to level up, but will we be able to get Cold Lava to maybe level 20 this episode? I think we can. What was that shaking? What was that? Elder, you are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your hate gem. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. So I guess we are already at the top. So here is what we named our rival, Poopy. So I'll never lose the f two fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Poopy, use escape route. Huh. So, what's this Pokeball over here? I think, yeah, it's an escape route. But we're, we're, we're going to save that because it's a very easy journey down. And we're going to battle the Elder. So, good for you to get, come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds. To build a bright future together, I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Okay, so... This, I guess, is a semi-boss, I would say. But it shouldn't be too hard. Because they got Bell Sprouts. And yeah, let's go cool lava. And we should be able to take it out. First hit. And Yep, we were able to. Super effective. Uh cool lava's so close to leveling up to level sixteen right now. A uh, hoot hoot hoot, I guess. I think that's how you say it. A hoot hoot or a hoot hoot. I think yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I'll have to get used to it, but we're going to use Ember first, and then we'll use Tackle. Okay, and Tackle. Well, we, I think we can take it out. Yep, we are able to take the Hoot Hoot out. Cold Lava gained 123 EXP points, and Cold Lava leveled up, so that's nice. I think we have to get Cold Lava to like level 33 to involve it again. So, it will be a long time when 
until we can evolve cold lava. Uh, guys, uh, make sure in the comments, uh, please think of a nickname for cold lava. Because I was not able to, th I didn't have a nickname that I wanted to name cold lava. And then, next video, I will have you guys vote on which, uh, nickname you guys want. And then, we will have the highest vote. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this flash, HM. Okay, so I guess that's what the other elder was talking about. A flash illuminates even the darkness of all places. But to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet Gym. What? Which we do have the badge. Okay, so we ran into a Pokemon. Ooh, it's a Ghastly. Okay, I'm going to catch this Ghastly. Oh, it's only level 5. Ah, so let's just try to tackle. Doesn't affect it, okay. Didn't affect Cold Lava, okay. So I guess we're going to have to use Ember. And we'll... Please don't take it out. Oh, darn it. So we took the Ghastly out. That would have been a really good addition to our Pokemon team. So we're going to go downstairs, and we're going to get out of Sprout Tower. There we go. So Sprout Tower is only three floors. Wow. I guess the last episode we were basically done. Sprout Tower. I guess we should have finished it last episode, but I had no idea. I thought it was going to be like seven floors. Hmm. So that's that's why the pillar shakes. It's because I I guess it's kind of cool. Huh. So yeah, we're in Violet City. Uh, I've done some research. Like, uh, if there's even running shoes in this game, well, it looks like there's no running shoes in uh, Pokemon Silver. So this is gonna be a pain. Like when we just want to get to places fast. I'm not even sure if there are bikes. Like, I really hope there are bikes. So, yeah. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's see what... So we ran into our rival. So I don't know what he wanted. I think he was just training. So let's go up here. And let's see where we're going. So we're on Route 36. What's over here? Yep, a cut. Okay. Let's go down this way. So I wonder what the first, next place will be. The ruins of... What was that? The ruins of Alf? I don't know what that said. Let's see what this person has to say. The ruins are about... 1,500 years old, but it's not known why they were built or by whom. Okay, so I guess these runes are very old. Let's see what this guy has to say. There are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the runes. They must be the keys for unraveling the mystery of the runes. Okay, so they're, I guess, code? on the rune walls uh, but we're, n we're not gonna go check it out because we don't need to right now we're gonna go over here unless the game forces us to so route 32 okay we got a trainer down here wait what the trainer doesn't want to battle you have some good pokemon there it must be from training you gave them around Violet City the training at the gym must have been especially helpful as a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. Give and receive Miracle Seed. Okay, so if we get a grass Pokemon, uh, we can put Miracle Seed. Or we can give them Miracle Seed. Because it, I guess, increases the power of grass moves. So we got a Rattata. Okay, uh, it's only level 5, so. We should be able to take it out easily. 
There we go. A critical hit. Quilava gained 40 EXP points. Not much. That wasn't very helpful, I guess. So we got a trainer right there. Yep. I haven't seen you around b b before, so you think you're pretty tough? Well, I guess I am. I already have a gym badge. I don't think you do. So, it's a youngster, so youngster Albert wants to battle. Youngster Albert sent out Ratata. Okay, so we got Ratata. I, I, can't, I can't say Ratata. Uh, whatever. Okay, so we're going to tackle. And so close. So another tackle should be able to take it out. And the defense fell. That's okay because we're going to... What? You missed? But, cool love it. You have your eyes open now. How could you miss? Whatever. Okay, so we're going to just tackle. And rat the rat ta -ta I fainted. There we go. Another... Okay, so we got a Zubat. So, this was the Pokemon that I wanted to catch last episode, but we were not able to. So, yeah, we made, we got a critical hit, which is, was good for us. And we're close to level 17 again. Or, no. Why is the Pokeball blue? If you look at the top of the Pokeball, it's blue instead of red. It's very weird. Unless there's different types of Pokeballs in this game. I'm not sure about it, though. We found a Repel, which are helpful. Especially when you're in caves, because uh, you don't want to be running into Pokemon. Unless you're just there to train. Uh, yeah, and you know, pardon, battle. I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, but make it fast. Okay. So... I just wanted to see what this person wanted to say, but she was on the phone, so I didn't mean to disturb you. Uh, so, Picnicker Liz wanted, wants to battle. Okay. Nidoran. So, that that's another really nice Pokemon, because you can get it into Nidoqueen or Nido uh, King. So, we're going to use Ember. And I believe it's a poison type. So. Oh, so close. Use Growl, but I failed, okay. Uh, we use another Ember. There we go. Cool Lava Gain, 112 EXP. Yay, level 17, there we go. So we defeat a Picnic Release. I've got to relieve my anger. Why are you angry? Are you angry because I destroyed you? That's probably a good reason to, to be angry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep going down this path. I'm very curious. Okay, so we got this Pokemon trainer. That glance is intruding. What? Okay, so you still want to battle. So, okay. So, I, I really hope this game has EXP share. Because that will be helpful when we... So this is the Nido Run. I believe this one becomes Nido King, and the one that we just battled becomes Nido Queen. They're they're like really really strong Pokemon. Like not gonna lie about that. So that that's why they can be handy, and yeah, hope I just hope that I will be able to complete the Pokedex because I've actually never had the patience to complete the Pokedex before. So. I hope I'll be able to complete the Pokedex in this series for you guys. So, Camper Roland was defeated. Hmm, this is disappointing. So, you're disappointed that you lost? Well, you should be, because you suck. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. So, we're going to go up here and grab that po uh, See what's in that Pokeball. So, it's a Bellsprout. Bellsprouts are, like, really weak, in my opinion. Like... Like, look at that. It's like the body's, like, on... It, the body is, is its own spine. So we're just going to run from it because we we have no reason to f battle the Bellsprout. Gamer found a Great Ball. Okay, so that's nice. Great Balls are actually pretty good. I still can't believe we wasted, like, 
two great ball or a one. Never mind. We we did not waste a great ball last episode. So we got a ghastly. It's a level seven ghastly. So maybe we can, you know, keep it. So we're gonna try Ember because tackle doesn't affect ghastly. And nope, we were not able to take it out. So that's why I need to get a Pokemon that can use like, or like can like put Pokemon to sleep. Because that's helpful for catching Pokemon. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Okay. So this guy found some Pokemon in the grass, I guess. Okay. Honestly, never like battle straight away with the Pokemon that you caught. Like you, you want to train it gradually. So like put it as your first Pokemon that you throw out. And then, like, you know, depending on the level of your opponent, uh, you want to, you know, either immediately swap or you want to, you know, gradually, you know, give it a tackle and stuff like that. Because then, you know, you're not risking your Pokemon fainting and then, like, never getting EXP. So, that's why I usually like to use that method because as soon as I swap it out and then, like, with my stronger Pokemon, like Quillava... Uh, I can, you know, get EXP for both of them, which is helpful. Especially when you, you know, have, like, a level 1 Pokemon. Like, especially when you get out of the egg, which we have an egg. So, I don't know when that egg is going to hatch. But, uh, if we're, like, already in level 60 and then the egg decides to hatch, that's very good for the egg because that's a lot of EXP right there. So it looks like there's a lot of trainers over here. What's over here? Are you serious? So I just went into a loop? Well, I guess that was my fault. So we're just going to go down and battle this one. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious, slow poke tail? For you right now, just $1 million. You want this? No, thank you. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to pay for one million dollars. Like, that's a rip off. But I'm pretty sure that a uh, slowpoke tail will probably come in handy uh, in the future, or we probably need it for part of the story to get like past something. So, we probably will need it. So the reason why you guys are wondering if we have two pokeballs. When we only have one Pokemon, it's because we have an egg. And uh, I'm just holding it because that's because it's we can hatch that egg sooner. That badge is from Violet City. You beat Falconer. Well, this guy's surprised that I beat Falconer. He wasn't that strong, honestly. All he had was a Pidgeotto and a Pidgey. Okay. Sent out a Pidgey. So this guy has a Pidgey. Will he have a Pidgeotto too? So we're just going to use Ember on this Pidgey. And then prove this guy why Falconer was not that strong. I'm pretty sure our rival could have beaten Falconer too. So there we go. I'm actually curious what will happen to our rival. Like, what, like how the story will go. So, there we go, our Pidgey, and the Pidgey fainted, 70 EXP, we're already nearly level 18 again, see, it's very easy to level up, that's what I've been finding in this game, it's like super easy to level up, but that's because we only have one Pokemon, but as soon as we get two, as uh, the EXP, we're gonna try and divide the EXP between them, so that... Or we're going to try and, you know, constantly train the one all the way up to Quillava's level. Then we're going to divide the EXP between them as much as possible until we get EXP share. If there's even EXP share in this game. Because this game is actually a very old game, so I'm not even sure if they have EXP share. So it looks like we have to go in a cave. The Yin Yin Cave. Okay, so we ran into a Pokemon. Another Pokemon that I would like on our team is this 
Is it Onyx or is Steelix? But I believe Onyx involves from his or involves into a Steelix, I believe. I'm not sure. So we're gonna use Ember on this level six Geodude. There we go. Yep. I was able to take it out. And oh so close to level eighteen. And we 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 gotta put uh, something in here, X attack, so, I, I've done some more research about what these X, like, defense, X speed, and all that does, it basically raises the Pokemon's, like, you know, whatever it says, like, attack, defense, or speed, so if you have an X speed, it will raise the speed of the Pokemon in battle, like, during battle, if you use it on it, I think, I think that's what it is, I believe, or, our, do you, or do you just have to give it to the Pokemon as a item? See, this is the uh, the one Pokemon that I kind of want. So it's an Onyx. Uh, that's not going to be very helpful for Core Lava. So a really good thing against Rock is uh oh. So we managed to burn uh, Onyx. So a really good Rock. Uh, our really good Pokemon against Rock is like fighting, I believe. So we're gonna try tackle on this. See if it does any better. Nope, I guess not. So I guess we're just gonna use fire. Or ember, should I say? There we go. And oh. And the nice thing is that the onyx is burnt. So we should Yep. And we managed to take it out. Okay, Onyx fainted. Oh, 253 EXP points. That, that's a lot right now. But in the future, you guys will be like, yeah, no, that's not a lot. Like, yeah. So, Hiker Daniel was defeated. So, we managed to defeat. Whoa, I'm beaten big time. Yeah, you were pretty beaten. So, oh, wrong way. We're going to go over this way. We're going to battle this person. Yep. You're headed to Azali, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you're good enough to battle. Obviously, I'm good enough to battle because I have a Pokemon. But the thing is, am I good at battling? That's the thing. I'm pretty sure that's what he meant to say. So, Geodude. What level is the Geodude? It's only a level 4. Ouch. Okay, so we're going to use Ember. And we were able to take out the first Pokemon that the hiker, or I believe that's his name, hiker or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, hiker Russell sent out Geodude. How many Geodudes does this hiker have? There we go. Another Ember, but this time it's a level 6. So I'm going to assume the next one's level 8, maybe. It's not very effective, but... It's still taking out the Geodudes. We're, we're already halfway to level 19. Yep, I was right, a level 8 Geodude. So, there we go. And... So close. Not very effective. But it's still taking out your Pokemon. And another Ember should be able to take this Geodude out. And, yep, a critical hit, it's not very effective. Enemy Geodude fainted. Kolova gained 147 EXP points. Okay, so, I think we might be able to actually get to level 20 this episode for winning some, some to mom. Okay, so that's the entrance that we just, we entered, or that's how we entered the cave. And we're trying to find our way out of the cave. A wild geodude appeared. Go cool lava. Okay, so we're going to run. We got away safely. And... Oh, another Pokemon trainer. Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. If your Pokemon are confused, why are you going to battle me? So we got a fire breather. 
Fire breather Bill wins the battle. Sent out Coffin. Okay, so Coffin's a poison or a gas type Pokemon. I've never been a fan of Coffin. Okay, we're gonna use Ember. And yep, we were able to take out Coffin. 145 EXP. Really close to level 19. Sent out another Coffin. Okay. So I guess the next Pokemon gym is probably going to be like a poison type gym, I think. And Coffin fainted. Quillava gained 145 EXP points. Yep, level 19. Quillava grew to level 19. That's great. Fire Breather Bill was defeated. I flamed out. Gamer got 288 for winning. Send some to mom. There we go. We're going to go down here. Ah, uh, we went the wrong way, so. But there's still a Pokeball, so we may as well go see what's in that inside that Pokeball. Wild Geodude appeared. And we're going to just quickly run. And what's inside? Oh, are you serious? Uh, a wild whooper appeared. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna run, because we are right there. And, a great ball. So that's nice. Garen put the great ball in the ball pocket. So, we're just gonna see if we're close to the exit. See what's over here. So a potion. Okay, so we put the potion in the item pocket. Looks like we might have to go down a floor or something. That won't be fun. A wild Whooper appeared. And we are going to run. Got away safely. And we're going over this way. Ooh, so close. So we, we ran, how's a ratata in a cave? Well, I guess it's a rodent, so, and rodents can live in caves, I guess. So we're going to go down this way. Okay, so we, I'm going to use the repel that we just got, because I'm starting to get annoyed with all this wild Pokemon. So let's go, Koalawa. Let's run. Here we go, got away safely. And let's go use our, whoops, I must have missed it, a repel. We only have one, so there we go. Whoops, I'm not going that way. There we go, we're at the exit. Route 33. Okay, so... Guys, we have ran out of time, so I'm going to let you guys go. Okay, see ya.